Hey there, um, I wanted to do a video for you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions on the My Challenger um, Tracker app. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to set up a group um, using the app. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys set up here. All right. So what we're going to look at is the, um, what you do is you go to the website. It's www.mychallengetrackerportal.com. And that will take you to the main um, portal. And this is where you will set up your challenge groups. Um, so you click here. These are the previous past groups that I have been a, particip a participant in or a owner of or admin. So I'm just going to click new group. And I'm going to name my challenge group. And I'm actually going to do one for the country heat that I have started on Monday. We started the preseason this week. And then when the workouts and Shakeology start, I'm going to introduce this to my challengers um, over the weekend. So they have the weekend to get set up and start tracking their accountability on Monday with their workouts. So I'm going to title this country heat. challenge and I'm going to push my start date on the 15th and it's a 30-day workout program so I'm going to run my group for 30 days so day one will be Monday um, and then we'll go for 30 days through the whole complete program of um, country heat so this is going to be I can change put the program in here um, here's country heat and description And then you can put in here whatever you want. You can go back and edit this later also. I guess I wasn't prepared with what to put here, so I'm just gonna put something simple. And then you can select an image, and this will be on the home screen when the challengers check in. And we'll see what I have here in my saved photos, if there's one I want to use or not. I'm sure I have a country heat one that I can pull. I'm just going to look. And there we have one. Let's see if I want to use a different one or if I'm going to go with that one. Use that one. Okay, so that one's not going to work. Let me try a different one here. So you have to make sure that the pixels are 250 by 250. Um, so actually what I should do is show you how we're going to, we're just going to go ahead and make one so I can show you how to do it. All right. So it's telling us we need 250 by 250 pixels. So how do you do that? You do it in PicMonkey. I'm just really literally going to walk you through this. So we're going to do design. And we are going to do a custom. And we're going to put in here right now, we want 250 by 250. 
and we're going to make it. And that's what size it needs to be. So I'm going to do an overlay. And I'm going to pull that same image and it'll be um, transformed into that size. Let's go to find it again. Where did that one go? I'm just going to stretch this out. And actually, this is good because I want to take that text off anyway. Let's see. Let's do this way, actually. All right, and then I'm going to just do a overlay covering that this up here. And I'm going to change the color so it matches what's up there. And then I'm going to do a text overlay. And then when you're happy with that, then we're going to save it. Oops. You know what? Hold on. I'm actually going to stretch that. So, here. So then it's saved and I can go back into the challenge tracker and I can find that same image that I was just working on. There it is. And there we go. All right, so we're going to save that. And then we're going to create our group. All right, so then you can um, play around with your profile picture, um, how participants can contact you. Uh, I have my cell phone number and then my account and then so everything looks good. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit next. And then this is where we invite our participants. So you want to customize your invitation email. You can invite your participants. Everyone that you invite will receive an invitation email from you letting them know that they can join the group. So um, if you want to look at the preview, this is what they're going to receive if you don't customize it. Um, actually, you can click send preview so you know what the email is. And I'm just going to leave it as is. So this is where you are going to add in your um, challengers. Okay, so once you do that, then you just add to the list and then you invite them. And then they will get that email invite into their folder. And then they, with instructions on how to join. And that's it. Um, once you do that, you have your group, and then you can also um, add admins. So once you have your people here, you can add your coach admins. So any fellow coaches that you're running your group with, you can add them so that they can also invite their um, challengers, their participants, okay? Um, and then just go ahead and, and play around with these different things. So here's your group feed. Um, you can edit the group. Here's your participants, um, you know, all of those different things. There is a tutorial in the beginning of your um, 
when you start your groups. So you, that might be really helpful if you haven't taken the time to educate yourself. Right here is where you find the video tutorials. So there's a coach portal and then the participant app um, from their phone. So they can access it both from their desktop and their phone, which is really slick. So on that, and these are other groups, like I said, that um, I've been in and this is the current one here. So um, again, when you're posting and checking in with your, your challengers, it's really slick. You can do it both from your phone or right from your desktop. There's no change there um, versus Facebook groups right now. So um, that's that. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope this was helpful. I'm going to find out how to get back out here.